giving you an update on my No Shades of Grey with Hobby. I want to come on and show you what exactly I've been working on, my progress so far, and to let you know how it's going. Okay, here we go. So I am making these super large squishy granny squares in a bunch of different colors and so far they are about six rounds of three strands held together with a size N crochet hook and they have turned out, I haven't quite measured them yet, but I would guess that they are about seven to eight inches square and I'm going to literally be making blanket squares. My intention is to make a blanket. I'm going to share these different colors with you as well as what yarns I've been using and I am going to intend to create a pattern for this cozy easy crochet square blanket. So I'm sharing some of the squares with you and I want to show you just how I've made them. It's a basic humble granny square pattern that you can find in any crochet diagram or just search the web and it will instantly come up. I am using three strands held together. One is a light worsted acrylic and I am using a white. An easy way to use two strands of this at once is to pull one from the middle and one from the outside. So two strands of white mixed with one other worsted color. For this project, I'm using Hobby's Yarn Friends Wool. Friends is a series that matches their whole Friends line. I have some here in a different um, merino wool, which is slightly thinner, and I can just mix and match all the Friends colors for them to come together to coordinate. So what I am doing is using up my friend's stash. I'm using the wool and also my light worsted merino. And I am holding one strand of the color with two strands of the acrylic. So that is coming together to give me a three strand piece. And I am just using that as if it were one and making my granny squares with that. So let me show you all the colors that I'm using. I'm gonna link my crochet hook and everything else below for you. I'm using a furls size P. I will put the millimeters down below. It's quite large. It's making beautiful, thick, chunky squares. Um, one reason I am mixing the Friends Merino with my Friends Wool is because I have realized that one skein of the Friends Wool will get me about one and almost a second of another granny square. There is not quite enough yarn in one skein of the wool to make two six round chunky granny squares. So what I'm going to have to do is get clever or either order more yarn. So that is why I have decided to mix and mingle some of the merino wool with the friends wool, it's slightly different, but what I plan to do is hold two strands together to get about the same thickness. So that's just some crochet design behind the scenes for you as I share this with you. I'm by my side. Darling, look me. In. 